I eat only sleep and air. And everyone thinks I'm dumb. But I'm smart because I figured it out. I am slimmer than you are, and I am burning my skin off, little by little, until I reach bone and self, until I get to where I am essential, until I get to where I am. Food doesn't tempt me anymore because I am so full of energy and sense I can even pass by water now because I'm living off the parts of me that I don't need anymore. I feel the slow drips of pain before, swirling inside where my lungs should have been. Now I'm clean inside. I threw out hundreds of things that I didn't need anymore. All my dresses and bras, stupid things like jeans and socks. Most days I float through the house naked so I can see myself in the mirrors. I have hundreds of them everywhere. They talk back to me all the time. They keep me true and pure. They make sure I'm still here. When I knew what I had to do, I took all my notebooks, all my manuscripts, and ate them page by page so I could take my words with me. I can finally control my life. And even death. And I will die slowly like steam escaping from a pipe. This is my greatest performance, and all the actresses who won my parts will say, how wonderful to let yourself go that mad, how wonderful to go on that kind of a journey, and not care if you come back to tell the story. I scratch words on the walls now, so people will visit this museum and know how someone like me ends up like this. They'll say there is art in here somewhere. Everything that comes out of me is sacred. Every cheer, every cough, every piss. Everything that comes off of me is sacred. Every fingernail, every eyelash, every hair. Starvation is sacred. And I scratch my bones against the windows at night. I light candles and feel 